So Paul's just about to glue up the pipe, making sure he's got enough glue and all that lot. What's going on, mate? Are we flooding out your garden? Look out now, boy! He's right back in the corner. That's opened up a load more room here. Loads of brand new inch and a half pipe. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Perfect good tempest there, mate. For 120 notes. Yeah. Hey there. Yes, yeah. Come on. Two. Got your pump then, Paul. We've got to go and have a look in the main fish ice. We always oh, got yeah, to look yeah, in here, mate. Now. Drum filter's just going off at the back. And that there works the absolute hammer. Lovely jubbly. He's a winner. But we're waiting till it tops up to the skimmer line. We're plowing on, as they say, using all of these second-hand fittings from Mr. Lee Adfield. We didn't come to buy fish till mate, did we? No. They flew in late yesterday. Happy days. We'll make use of it. That's what you call the absolute hammer. That runs straight down to here. You can see how much muck's coming out of that, look. Everything's happening. Right, so popped up to me mate Paul's house. We're gonna do a little bit of filter house sort of upgrades more than anything. He's just recently bought a Tempest. We wanna get it in situ, but I'll flip the camera around, show you what we're planning to do, show you what it looks like to start with and what it's gonna look like when we finished. Right, so uh, inside of this filter house, basically the way it's all set up, trying to add this new Tempest, which he bought an absolute bargain off of this off Facebook, 100 quid. He's give it a good wash out. Everything's been PP'd and cleaned. The way the lines are put in place here, where he's upgraded stuff over the years and changed bits and pieces, he just got to the stage where he wants to redo it. We're gonna move the Nexus and get the Nexus sat over in the far corner because originally when he built the pond, where he placed it, it gave him plenty of room. But like a lot of us do over the years, we put a little filter house over our equipment and he wants a little bit more room inside of here and he actually wants to run the whole pond and system off of two pumps instead of trying to run it off of one just so we can regulate the flow rates a bit easier for his shower filter and his waterfall at the back and he wants to run two pumps in here so while we're doing it now he's got the tempest what the plans is come directly straight off of the skimmer line go into the tempest up and over into the uv into the shower but our first job really is to shut the ball valve off here from the bottom drain and we want to move the nexus right over in that back corner and that will allow us to just tidy up all of the pipework. So what we'll do, we'll crack on with it. As you can see in here where the pipework sort of comes together, you can sort of see where he sort of added extra things over the years and we just want to tidy it up just to make it look a little bit better, make it run better really for the pond. So. We're gonna move the Nexus over there in that back corner. We're gonna come directly off of the Nexus into the pump. And then we're gonna run from the pump to the return over here, where he's got a rubber boot. We're actually gonna be fitting a new ball valve over here. So any maintenance that he does to the pond next time can actually be shut off from the pond wall. Something that he wish he'd done to start with, but he put the block off over there realizing that he added some bits and then needed to put a rubber boot in it so he wants it to set up a little bit better and that's what we're going to do so our first job is to move the nexus come out of the nexus into the pump and return it back to the pond wall and then we're going to hook up the tempest from the skimmer line to the tempest to the pipe over here to feed the uv and the shower all that yibbity yabbada we're going to crack on and get the job done so paul's just gone in there shut all the pumps down what we're going to do we're dropping the nexus as we speak there's still a pump which is running in the pond at the moment this is actually a pump in the pond which runs up behind and feeds the waterfall something else is that he wants to change so while we're doing it today we're going to change it all but we've got to literally drop the water line past this return just so it gives us time to glue up the pipes in it mate yeah. that's the hammer boy every cup of tea have minute. a cup of tea see get in there son so we've also got loads of brand new inch and a half pipe which he had left over he's just gonna get some four inch pipe this is the tempest that he bought bargain less than 100 quid he's literally just gone and bought a new ball valve because the bloke that had it before he said he had a leak on it that's why he was selling it so cheap and it's like we said it's not what you know is who you know one of the newer style ball valves and these here are a lot better 20 quid you got a perfect good tempest there mate for 120 notes yeah bargain bargain up the hammer yeah a load of bits of fittings in there 
He's got some rubber boots, all stuff that he's had lying around here. I know I've got some bits down my house as well if I need anything. We're literally going to get this Tempest after all the water's drained out to the level that we need. Get the Tempest right back in that back corner. Start a bit of the fun, mate, innit? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've got all the gear, look. we got the bricks what we want. Cement mixer if we need it. Look out now, boy. That's the hammer. The pump up there is still running. Oxygen in the pond while we do the maintenance. It shouldn't take us too long, but you know how these jobs take or what these jobs can involve. You start something and uh, it can end up taking you all day, can't it? But we're going to get the job done. Well, what's going on, mate? Are we flooding out your garden? Look out now, boy. Look, we've decided to empty the rest of the water up here just for the pure fact. Obviously, we drop below water line in the nexus so we're literally just going to continue to drop it just till we get past that first outlet and uh away we go all of the koi still doing all right oxygen on there and then we'll hook back that waterfall up because we're just draining off just that extra little bit now and yeah thank your mother for the new upgrades bosh absolutely loving this look going around for a swim he is absolutely <laughs> loving it Right, so this is where we're at at the moment. We're using some of the bits we've got. So instead of having that ball valve on the angle running across, the Nexus back as far as we possibly can. So he's right back in the corner. That's opened up a load more room here. So it comes out of the bottom drain, through here, up into the Nexus. And then we've got it coming out of here, which that's a four inch reduced to one and a half. But eventually, when we get a four inch to two inch, this little bit of pipe will be two inch pipe and then we're running across here and then this comes up and then it will push the water straight back into the side of the pond returning to the pond. Unfortunately, we've had to put a rubber boot this side for the pure fact this is a funny sized pipe. So we're working with what we've got and it doesn't fit any of the connections, any of the ball valves that we've got. So we've put a rubber boot on it, but it still means that you can isolate the pond instead of like if he wants to do any maintenance to the pump or anything like that he can isolate the pond without emptying down to that water line now so we just need to get a few fittings to change that round to there and then we can start filling back the pond up happy days right so i'm just walking down the road because i know i've got some 90s and um i know i've got loads of bits and pieces in the shed i mean mate only lives about two minutes away so uh literally next cody sack up from where i live yeah i've got loads of bits in my shed courtesy of lee adfield the koi soldier i've been using all of these bits to build my pond so i've just grabbed myself a load of bits that i might need it's all reused pipe but we'll make use of it and uh happy days cheers lee legend check that out look get yourself on the ginsters that's what you call the absolute hammer can't beat a bit of the old ketchup too you know what i'm saying halfway time means we're having lunch. Paul's just about to glue up the pipe, making sure he's got enough glue and all that lot. Going all right, isn't it, Paul? Ideal, ideal. Happy days. Right, so there's that all hooked up. What we're gonna do now, now it's all nice and neat against the back, we're gonna sort out the skimmer line to the Tempest. And what we wanna do, we're gonna nip up to the Koi dealers. We're gonna go and get a pump, because what we're gonna do is sit a pump in here, so it's nice and tight against the back. And then we can return the pump to the tempest so we can run the whole system off of two pumps instead of one because then that means the slower flow rate through this system gives it more dwell time in the filter itself that's the whole intentions of doing it this way but having a 20,000 litre pump on it allows it if you ever want to pull any water through your bottom drain a lot quicker you can max this pump out and then that will mean more water will come through the gravity system and then return into the pond via here and now we can also isolate the pond itself and then we can also isolate the nexus itself so any maintenance needs to be done on the pump it makes life a lot easier that said we'll be back with you shortly when we get to the koi dealer what's he going to get then paul uh what size inch and a half you need mate inch and a half yeah inch and a half rubber boots that's that's two inch that's the size Hey there. Yes, yeah. One, two. We're going to get one of the eight. Yeah, you can screw straight in, yeah. If you screw straight into the to the pump, then you can glue straight in. They are better. But 
those these pumps do actually come with the connectors on them so you yeah. don't need them ideally when you're up here mate you always want something else sonny you know what i mean yes that that's that's a good idea look, one of my old signs look i made e see me look oh yeah i made e a few years ago now while we're up here we'll have a quick nose like we always do these are doing all right loads of frying here look another tank set up some in here look cool always whenever you come up here it makes you want to have a look doesn't it see what's going on that's quite nice i like that what else have we got over here oh hello i've spotted something new what we got in here then oh chris you got some new ones in you didn't tell me you had to move the jackers in they flew in late yesterday happy days some nice fish in here that is nice as well i like that I didn't come up here for fish, but I haven't seen these before, so they only come in yesterday. I like to have a look, see what's going on. Water's a little bit murky, but... Hey, Paul, there's a tantrum in here, mate, what Mandy's after. There he is, look. Pancho. Didn't come to buy fish though, mate, did we? No. Just the pump and some bits. Got your pump then, Paul. We've got to go and have a look in the main fish house. We always oh, got yeah, to look yeah, in here, mate. There. Put it in the car, mate, and then we'll have... I'll meet you in here. Yep. Got to have a quick look. Got always got to have a nose. Cool, it's warm in here, mate. It's warm in here. See, there's that tank over there as well, look. That's that tank. Got to come up and pick you up soon. Nice tank this is. You could have e in your garden quite easy. Have a quick little nose at these big old lumps in here. Always like having a look. Not that I can afford any at the moment, but I do like having a look. There's the Goshki, what I put my name on. But it's one of them. Got to speak to Mrs. Whisperer. Not definitely having it. I'm definitely having that tank over there, mine. But lovely set up. But with this polycarbonate roof in here, it's warm. You couldn't spend too long in here, Paul, could he? No. It's a bit warm, mate. It's a bit warm. Drum filter's just going off at the back. But yeah. Right then, so just got back. What we're doing, brand new EA pump. Instead of using these fittings, we'll always end up leaking. What we've done, we've PTFE taped it and gone straight on with rubber boot, nice and easy. And if you ever need to do any maintenance to the pump, the propeller, you just literally unbolt that, unbolt that, dismantle it, jobs are good. And that there works the absolute hammer. So we're gonna get this all looked up, ready to rock and roll. The bracket up, see, for the old Tempest. Look out now, boy! Health and safety's gone at the wall. <laughs> Lovely. Literally just making a bracket up. We're making a template up really just to put the tempest on because that is the only downside with these tempests. The money that they charge for them, they don't give you no bracket or anything to go with them. But Paul's got a mate in the know that's actually making him a stainless steel bracket. But for time being, just so we can get it hooked up and running, we're literally just gonna put a few bricks underneath in, get the pipe glued up and uh getting sat in situ. This is the best way of cutting pipes. Like that. Lovely jubbly. And we're using all of these second hand fittings from Mr. Lee Adfield. That's what you call the hammer. Yeah. Right, so we're coming on now. We're plowing on as they say. So we're coming out of the skimmer, into the pump, into the tempest. We're coming out, down, and in over here. And uh, yeah, 
And then I'll tighten up everything, adjust it up, get all everything level. You can sort everything out. Oh, we're just gluing up the last bits of the puzzle. It's what you call, thank your mother for the rabbits. rabbits. Right then, so we're all done with the pipe work. As you can see, it's a million times better. The Tempest is sat in situ. We have got some brackets that's coming tomorrow, but we put a board on the back. We've wedged it up with some blocks for now because he's got a proper bracket coming. Got enough room to put a pipe on for waste. And uh, yeah, basically it comes out through there and returns down and that will feed the shower filter. But it's coming now directly straight out of the skimmer into the pump, up to the Tempest, down around, straight returning to the shower filter. The inlet for the pond now runs across nice and straight into the Nexus, which is pushed right back into the corner as far as we possibly can go. It runs out of the Nexus, into the pump, comes up into the return of the side of the pond wall with a ball valve on it to isolate it from the pond. And if he ever needs to dismantle the pump, he can literally undo that rubber boot, isolate it there, undo that rubber boot. We did work with a lot of the bits we had already this is two inch pipe feeding the 20,000 litre pump. And uh, yeah, it's a million times better. From back here, as you can see now, you can actually get in there and do a bit of work. And it's just made it a million times better of a setup. And just using old pipe fittings, using what we've got, having the Tempest on there now. We still got bits all over the place here today. But while we're filling up, the skimmer itself will actually skim from the top of the pond and it will remove all of the protein bubbles now because it will have to go through the tempest before it goes to the shower. This next part of the job, we're gonna actually do on another day because like we said earlier on in this video, when you start a job, you get going and before you know it, the time starts ticking on. And what we need is to get up on the pond. We're gonna put a T. We've left all of the bits that we need all of the second hand bits that i've got stuff we're going to use to get the job finished and then that sorry about the wind noise but that will feed the waterfall at the back because the fish really love going up there and chilling out and relaxing but yeah she's a winner but we'll wait until it tops up to the skimmer line and then we'll check for leaks so the old uh, 10,000 has been hooked up up there the new pump pool's just literally turning it on and you're gonna see it fill up as it's filling up. Reason why this media in here is so dark is because we've done a real heavy treatment of PP for the past week on it and just left it completely submerged just to make sure being second hand that it's all been wiped out as such if there was anything in there. Tempest is filling up here, Paul, look. He's rising up. Yeah, I'm just gonna slow him down a bit. <laughs> that and there's all fill up. Look at E, look. That will start collecting all of the muck in there. We will drop it in a minute just to make sure we clean it out, give it a bubble. We got any leaks? That's the main thing, mate. Have a touch around the pipes. I mean, I can pretty much tell you to start with. The Koi Whisperer never gets no leaks, mate. Look at that. Look at it. Look at, Look at the smile on his face. That's what it's all about. Happy days. What? Look at that. Shooting across that. That's the difference now, what we got. And as you'll see in a minute, once this gets turned off, because we're drawing directly from the skimmer line, all of these bubbles now, that crate from the bottom of the shower, will get sucked into the bottom of the skimmer, and then it will go through to the Tempest. And you'll see, as these bubbles are moving across, they always used to get left here. Obviously, at the moment, it's being pushed back out by the hose pipe here but you'll see all of the bubbles getting sucked through the skimmer line once we turn this off and then we won't have a load of bubbles sat round the back here. There's also a little trick with the skimmer that I'll show Paul what you can do. The way that these skimmers are with a free hose, the best thing to do is tape up the bottom hole completely and then what happens is that the water only goes through the center and then that there, well, depending on your water level height, but it means that it will actually pull and skim. The downside about it is that you have to have a constant trickle in to make sure that your water level don't drop. 
So that's something that could be done if Paul wants to do, but it doesn't mean that it has to be done. Oh, so, everything's happening. Just adjusting the overflow, but look at that. That's what you call the absolute hammer. That's a proper bit of fish, that is. That ain't no koi though. It's a bit of cod. Happy days. So we're giving him his first clean and that's how it all cleans up. We still got to fix the waist down here for a minute, but it will literally just bubble away. All the water will start coming out, dropping down. And they, they clean easy, don't them, Paul? Oh, yeah. You happy with him? Oh, Christ, yeah. It's a bargain, mate. Hands free. And uh, eventually, when we get the waste pipe sorted in a minute, we're just giving them a bit of a bubble clean. And away we go. But yeah, she's in. She's working a treat. Just got to remember to turn the pumps off and do the gate valves as you go. Beautiful. The absolute hammer. Yeah, once you get the waste down there, we won't be running it all down here. We'll get it all set in situ, whack the waste pipe in in a minute, and away we go. To start with, we could just put a hose pipe on it and just drain it out here, but she's working. This one's on a boil as well. She's erupting, and then uh, we're all singing and dancing. Everything's gone to plan. We like right. that. And there we have it. He's turned the pump back on. He's back running again. And that's as simple as that the Tempest works. Nice and easy, happy days. That runs straight down to here. You can see how much muck's coming out of that, look. That's absolutely crazy. But um, yeah, we'll drop the Tempest from the easy pod section, fill her back up, mate, and then we're singing and dancing. That's it. That's it done. Jobs are good, isn't it? Right then, so we're completely happy with what we got done here today. Just shows a little bit of maintenance, bit of DIY, and uh, the improvements that we've made so hope you like what you saw we're both happy and um yeah just literally flushed the easy pod out and we flushed the tempest out twice but that being said thanks for watching the video if you remember to like the video for me very much appreciated and if i don't see you in a week i see you for a window thank your mother for the rabbits